Alright, welcome back everyone to another episode of MLB Road to the Show as the catcher. Uh, we are now the starter. So as you can see, uh, Deonor Navarro is now on the bench and we've moved up to the starter because our adjusted overall is better than his adjusted overall. So now we get to play a lot more, which will help because here's the problem okay we're down there but right here on speed it costs that much to move up and we were getting like a very little maybe 35 points per per game that we actually got to play so every time uh, something happened we'd have to upgrade because it was constantly always down down everything was down going on the downward so had to sacrifice something and and it was the one that was the most expensive so our speed has gone down but now maybe we'll be able to get get up uh, quicker our speed should go up our training perks should be better and hopefully we can get some of those uh, those points soon that It'll go up faster so we can get to a thousand or whatever and buy some points for uh, doubling our training point. But anyways, let's go to our next game. Uh, so we'll be, we get to play a lot more games even though it's the second half of the season. But we're doing pretty good. So we're 1.5 games back. Back here on the, on the MLB beginning, pregame show, the front, Matt Baskerjian getting you set for the finale of this three-game set. Boston Red Sox. That'll come your so way in mere moments. Hopefully, we can bring we'll ourselves up to the top. Top's player spotlight. Ryan Bull is our man to watch as he comes off one of his better showings of the year. His last contest, an impressive five-hit performance, and really led the charge offensively for this ball club. Yeah, and let me tell you. Getting five hits in a ball game is really tough to do. I mean, sometimes you don't even get five at bats, and we all know that getting a base hit is one of the toughest things to do in sports. Going into this one, I'll bet he'll be trying to emulate everything he was doing and thinking about up there because it obviously worked, and I'm sure the team hopes he has another big game. It always helps get your offense going when a guy is hot like that. Okay. Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. On a blistering hot day in Houston, the roof is closed, and the A.C. is going full steam. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Toronto Blue Jays and so the Houston Astros. Between the last two games, you can see Josh Donaldson got traded to the Astros. And there was quite a few trades that have happened for the Blue Jays With since that, the last episode. Lineup for the visiting Blue Jays. Steve, how do they go about completing the sweep on the road? Well, so guys, it's a lot of names that are unknown to so patient, aren't Toronto names in real and life. Brad Peacock starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. EK, what's the word on him? Yeah, Matty, he'll look to build off of his last start where he got the win and only allowed one run. Ryan Bull will see if he can keep the magic wand going. He was five for five in the ball game last night. Well, you know, he's been averaging at least an RBI per game over his last 10. So yesterday's performance shouldn't have come as any big surprise to anyone. Damn it. Right at the shortstop for the second out. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball and it is hammered. I mean, hammered out there. But. He's going to wind up with nothing to show for it. All right, another try. One nothing for the other team. One on base, two out. Switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Yeah, he's got great numbers right here. Hitting over 350 against righties where he just rakes. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and here's a fastball. There we go. Two run home run. Swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. 
This is a long home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Seven home runs for him on the year now as Toronto has taken a two-to-one lead. Well, this guy's been a real pain in the backside so far in this series. I mean, this is his second home run here in three days, so he is really seeing the ball well now. All right, let's see if we can do it again. Grand slam time. He hit a two-run jack in his first at-bat. Well, I think he proved that he can turn on a pretty good fastball and hit it out of the ballpark, so you need a different approach in this at-bat. Looking to minimize the damage here. Oh, and he gets a hold of this. There we go, Grand Slam. Does he have another one? Uh, he does. Yes. It's another home run. I think that's our first MLB Grand Slam. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. His second of the game. And the lead is now 7-2. Oh, and well, you could probably follow the thinking on the mound right there. He's got the bases loaded now. He doesn't want to fall behind. So he's just going to try to get that first one over to start the at-bat to try to get ahead in the count. And that's going to turn out to be a decision he's going to regret. Ryan Bull will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. All right, nine five for us. No one on base. The no one out. And the pitch. Shot toward second, but an right. Adam ball right to him for that the was no down. good. The numbers from his last appearance, not too hot. He came on, gave up two runs, and actually wound up taking the loss in relief. Ryan All right, fifth Bull try. Stands in again here with two home runs. Ten seven for us. In this one. Top you of know the eight. What, Matt? He's just made it look so easy out there. I think they've got to change their approach right here. Use some caution or something. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now here's a ball hit in the and air. There we go, right number three, field. number three. Plenty of carry to it, and it yes. is out of here. Three home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game as they open up a four-run lead. Astros probably wish to trade it for me instead well, of Josh Donaldson. We wondered what he'd have to do for an encore. <laughs> here it is. His third home run of the ball game. He's having an afternoon to remember so far. Now, I don't think we've had enough at bats to be able to be uh, MVP. Ryan Bull will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. Well, this is going to be tough. Can we get another grand slam here? No one out. Here comes the first pitch. No. And that's through. No grand hit. slam. Around third and being waved on home. One run scores. And to score the runner from But we got a double. I don't know what else you can say at this point. He drives in two more runs here to go with the seven he already had. This is now a nine RBI ball game. Uh, let me tell you, you are not gonna... now to the plate. Ken Gindle, he's one for four for the game. All right, can you bring us home? Come on, Ken, bring That's us home. Two pitch on the ground to third. Donaldson's there. Throw will get him at first for out number one, but on the play, another run will come in to score. Well, that's pretty effective right there. Not only do you drive in a run on the ground ball, but you also move that other guy over to third base. Victor Mendoza. All right, one out. But Victor, you can bring us home. Bring us home. Standing at third base. 
Well, just about everything's gone their way so far in this frame, and another great opportunity to add to the total right here. Hey. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Well, this is due justice for the guy on the mound. He probably should have had the strikeout on the last pitch, but, you know, at the plate, you got to know you're not going to get that pitch called the ball twice. So coming to the plate, Muhammad Tidwell, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. And that's exactly what I'd expect them to do. No reason to give him a pitch that he likes. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Hit hard down the line. Oh, look at Donaldson. He's up with it. The throw in time. Ah, damn it. Oh, love it. So three no run there for me. Hits, no errors and a man left on. We'll head now to the bottom of the ninth. Toronto leads this But I think we won this one. To eight. Yeah, looks like we won it. 16 to 9 is the final score. Six at bats, four hits, three runs. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game award? Yeah, really a game to remember for that man right there. He winds up finishing with three home runs. But what surprised me was after a while, why even pitch to him? Kind of wish I got that four for one, just so I could be in that league of four hit home runs in one game. I've never been able to do so that, that yet. Just about does it for EK Psycho and the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For All more, right, get those so that's the end of this. Tablets out and head over to the shownation.com. All right, so. Got 130 points on this game, so that was a pretty good game for us. Uh, you probably can hear the noise in the background now, so I'm going to call it quits for recording. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. See you at the next episode.